All right, again we go. Ladies, gentlemen, boys, girls, fellow fish and accomplices, good morning and welcome back to fishing. So it is getting into late November right now and not the nicest of days, but this time of year you take whatever kind of day you can get, I suppose, and we're about to try and go tog fishing because that's the kind of mood I'm in right now. Uh, maybe more striper weather, but I want to take the kayak out and I want to fill up the freezer, so we're going tog fishing. This should be around. I was out not too long ago and we haven't had any major condition changes, so if I can get out to the spot um, and stay on top of where I think the fish should be, we should be able to catch something. So, yeah, I anticipate water temps will be in the low 50s, probably like 52, 53 if it's like the last time I was out. Only difference is A, it's a bit overcast right now and drizzling. And B, as the day goes on, it gets nicer out, the wind's going to intensify. And that's the big problem right there. I don't mind the rain, I got a dry suit on, but the wind might make things uh, less than pleasant, let's just say. So I'm hoping to get a few hours out. If uh, fishing's good, it's all I'll need. Um, should be able to get onto something. And you know, I can't really pick and choose my days right now. It's either I go or I don't, and that might be it. So this very well could be my last hog video. I don't know. Could even be my last saltwater video of the, of the season. Uh, time will tell, so do stay tuned. And hopefully we'll have something good for you because you know we're about to do. Get some fishing accomplished. All right, definitely not as picture perfect as the last outing was supposed to be, but I don't need to be perfect. I just need to be fishable. Uh, I'm pretty sure if I can get into at least sub 20 feet of water, I can get into some tog and hopefully some keepers. So making our way out. Um, I want to see if I can get into like 25 feet of water, maybe a little bit deeper, but if that's no good, we can go shallower. Uh, we're already marking 50 degree waters and I'm sure if I get a little deeper, I'll be in 52, 53. So let's get out there and hopefully we can get on some action. All right, I'm not quite exactly where I want to be, but I don't want to go super far out because it is a little nasty out there. So we're going to stay in close because the wind is only supposed to get worse. Uh, this is pretty close to where I've done pretty well in the past, so... Let's see how we do here. Not quite on the spot, but I can always readjust. It'd help if I wasn't tangled around the tip though. So let's get that sorted out and hopefully there'll be some willing fish around. Here we go. Got a wind versus tide situation. Tide's moving pretty strong. Might need to up the weight, we'll see. structure. There he is. That feels good. He just got wrapped up for a little bit. He's not that big. pretty. Hey buddy. Pleasure making your acquaintance. Fortunately not gonna be a cooler buddy today but he'll be uh help me get my fishing accomplished that's for sure.
water. Pretty though, look at that gold. Okay, just readjust the anchor and see if we're more on top of the fish now. I think we are. It looks like there's some life down there. feel him he was just on there <laughs> it's usually a good sign it's definitely better <laughs> took it one shot oh my god what a mess what a mess what a mess easy 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 not a keeper but definitely closer to what we're looking for got a nice short in the last clip catch them on my left so I got a lot more free space and a much better netting on that side but literally the place in the boat makes a difference for this bite so we're fishing on the right fish for sure better than some of these little ones we've been getting not a not a keeper though Again, can rain all at once. I got my dry suit on. It's better than what we have been getting. Right. Let's make a move. Let's actually finish this piece of crab and then we'll make a move. up the crabs I have on me right now and then we're gonna go out a little deeper if this uh, next few drops doesn't really pick up looks like we're getting good marks again bite has been picking up a little bit but might be nice to try and explore and see if there's anything bigger in deeper water there he is. that feels decent oh whoa 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 easy sim it down now Simmer down now. <laughs> That's a nice one. It's close. Certainly it's close. I guess we'll make it though. Very very healthy, but I don't that's like a 15 incher. Closer to what definitely closer to what we're looking for. All right, 
We've been grinding through that spot for at least an hour and a half, and we've had some nice shorts, but no keepers. So I'm gonna try and make a move, go out a little deeper. I mean, that's where I'd expect the fish to be this time of year anyways, but since we've done so well in the shallows, I avoided it. It is a little windy, but it's actually not so bad. So let's give this a shot while we still can, because I do anticipate the wind picking up, and I'm not going out super far. I didn't bring the electric engine, but uh, we can always come back. But until then, uh, we're gonna jump into a seltzer, a little palate cleanse action. Uh, this is not a new one, but this is one of my favorites. This is honestly what I'd say is seltzer of the year right here. Nixie Lime Ginger. This is, if you have not tried this in your seltzer fan, you will owe yourself the favor and the privilege to try this out. So good, so much flavor. No sugar, nothing. I mean, I'm in no way getting uh, compensated, I should add, for the statements I'm making, but I digress. Let's uh, hopefully get on some better fish. We're gonna try a little deeper, not super deep, like 30-ish feet maybe. Let's even get something uh, that we can stuff in the cooler bag. Short, maybe not legal. Maybe legal, but I doubt it. Ah. Come on, come on, what the heck? That's some weight to him. Might have been foul hooked, I don't know, but. Not this time. Oh yeah, yep, yep. That's a decent one for sure. Maybe, maybe, just maybe. I think so, I think so. <laughs> It took all day, but I think so. <laughs> uh, he's close, but I think he'll make it. Very close. If he's not, he's as close as it could be. I'm thinking he might actually be a little short. Touching, just touching 16. Just a hair over 16, so we're taking her. Might be the last keeper of the year, who knows. All right, just when things looked hopeless, we got a keeper. 16, just a touch, touch over. So I'll do it. See if we can get him some buddies. This very well could be, I hope it's not, but it could be the last time we're keeping Todd all year, so let's see what we can do. Pretty sure we missed that fish the first time too. But these fish can be aggressive and they'll come back sometimes. Oh, we got them juiced up now, folks. This might be my last good chance to get on a good pile of keepers. Could be good. Feels decent. Feels good. Yeah, it's gonna be close. I think it's another. <laughs> oh man, this is insane. Go all day, nothing, and all of a sudden two keepers practically back to back. It's insane. Closer to 17, yeah. Almost 17, 16, little, almost 16 and a half, so sure. Heck yeah. Struggle all day and all of a sudden we're on them. Str 
struggle all day. Not really struggle, just tons of small fish. Now all of a sudden we just got two keepers in like 15 minutes. Let's see if we can make it a trifecta. Feels good. Feels heavy. Oh, that's a good fish. That's a good fish. I think that's number three. Very close. It's gonna be very close. Just popped up. Just popped off too. He's like 15 and a half. Got something, took a chunk out of his tail. Ah, 15 and a half. Cool fish though. might be my last spot that I'm trying. Just readjusted the anchor. It's been slow. It's definitely slowed down. Might be the tide change. Might be because the sun's out. Might be just because I hammered these fish too hard. I don't know. But we're just going to try around this area and see how it does. If nothing, I've got two and I'm happy about that. Plus the one I got in the fridge right now. At home. <laughs> Good for a second. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! That's a. That feels like it's number three. Come on, number three. Let's go. Number three, uh, close, but no, no cigar. Very dense fish. Didn't even feel that one. I just grabbed it in one bite. You're close, but no. 14 and a half, 15. Yeah, 14. More like 13 and a half, 14. Let's go with the bigger piece. Let's see if this uh, gets a bigger fish's attention. That's it, that's it. Number three, number three, a hundred percent. Just get out of that, get out of that. Big fish, big fish, big fish, big fish, big fish, biggest of the day. Biggest of the year, biggest of the year. Oh my God, oh my God, yes. We're done. He's not huge, but he's big. That is a big pig. <laughs> That's it right there, folks. That's why we ground it out. Oh my God, it's like a seven, six or seven pounder. Holy shit. Oh. What a toad. It's not even that long, it's just so bad. Let's go. Look at that. Look at these guys there, that one. Oh. All right, let's get him on the stringer. We'll get a measure. 
and then we'll get out of here and only 17 feet of water it's insane I'm gonna wait in this guy in the parking lot so fat oh my god let's get a measure and then uh I'm gonna fish the rest of the crabs I cut up and that's it I'm guessing like 21 22 Not even, it's like 20, uh, 20 and a half, it's just so fat. What a day. All right, 20 and a half inch tog, almost 21. Very thick though, easily, I think heavier than that one we got last time we were here. It's just much thinner, but in 17-ish feet of water, in late November, and we're not even done. We're not even done. We've already got another fish. This is insane. This is insane. We're gonna leave him biting today, though, because I gotta get home. I gotta clean these fish and do all the things. But we'll use the last three pieces of crab I got, and then uh, we'll be on our merry way. Okay. Wow. That uh, <laughs> that was a nice ending for today's session. Uh, I was pretty close to wanting to call it a couple times while I was out there, but persevered and it paid off. So very excited about that. Very excited to stack up those fillets. Uh, and I'm hoping maybe just maybe we'll get one more talk session in this season. Uh, depends on how this upcoming weekend looks. Uh, the first at least half, it's going to be kind of windy. But if I see the opportunity, I'll try and get in one last time to see if we can get on them because once we get into December, which is next week, uh, I don't know if we're going to have really too many opportunities to make this happen on the kayak. But either way, this has been, without question, the best tog season I've ever had. I've never been a big tog fisherman, really only getting into it once we got the kayak. Uh, and it's been very learning progress, but or learn as I go. But this is the first time where it's really kind of connected in a good way. So, yeah, again... I know the enthusiasm, uh, some of you might not think it's quite warranted considering some of these fish aren't that big, but they're a blast to catch. I love catching these things. So thank you for watching. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Uh, some more fishing on the way. Not quite sure what it'll be yet, but uh, just taking it one day at a time. Thanks for watching again. Catch you in the next one. Of course, bye from fishing.